Hello, and on this video, we've got a mixture of different farming activities. We have the Fent 1050, and that is first doing ripping, which is getting air into the soil. It will then ridge with the Grimmer Ridger on the back, and then we will have the three John Deere tractors with the Scanstone destoners working, destoning this field before it is drilled with onions. Hello, I am down at Thorsby and we've got Sonic in the Fent 1050 and he's got the ripper on the back and he's just ripping through this land before he comes back with the ridger. So he's loosening all the ground up, making sure that no compaction down there, as well as the ridger. They'll be running the de-stoners. So once the ridging, the de-stoning is all done, they will then be able to drill onions, which is the next crop to go into this field. nice to see where he's been and it leaves us the lines and when you look at it from the drone that looks awesome as well so here is Nigel in the Fent 1050 and this time he has the ridger on the back and he's just ridging this field that he'd ripped so that's what the ridger looks like And he is ridging this and then the de-stoners are coming along and they're going to move the stones into the troughs at the side that Nigel's making. And then they will come and drill their onions. And here the de-stoners have arrived and Norbert and his John Deere with a scan stone de-stoner on and he's just going down where Nigel have ridged and removing the so stones that are then going down into the channel. We got Dingle, got Sam in that, John Deere, with another scan stone, and then we got Ben in the last one. So in this field first, Nigel ripped it, and then he ridged it, and ripping and ridging it, the ripping lifts up all the soil, gets the air in there. And that means once it's ridged, it's a lot easier then to put the soil through the de-stoners. So it's a lot easier for them to work. 
And there, Ben's got the last one, slightly older machine. D Stoner on the back. And what a great sight to see in the sunshine. See all the machines working away on a Saturday. So Ben has just literally, I missed it on the camera, but he's just adjusted that arm there. He can alter how far it comes out. And he can set that to make sure it drops into the channel. There he is, he's moving it now. You can just see how that adjusts. And then all the stones get put down the side here. So then the bed for the onions will be free and help them to grow. I mean, there are other ways of um, doing this for different veg as well. Some of them actually can bury the stones underneath to help a drainage layer. I've seen that um, with the beetroot side of things. They've got a George Moat machine and that takes the stones, makes the, a layer of the stones at the bottom and then lays all the soil back on top. And this is, this is more the way you tend to see this a lot with the potatoes, this is how they do that. And off Norbert goes on another run. And Norbert seems to cover the ground a bit quicker. I don't know why. I think it's always great to see how the produce is made and the work that goes, goes into it to put it onto the supermarket shelves. There in the background, you can hear Nigel giving the ridger a few taps, getting the soil off that before he heads back on the road and they'll lift the machines out as they come to the end of the run they have a share at the front similar to you may have seen on some of my other videos with the harvesting machines for potatoes carrots the share sits underneath the bottom of the bed at the front of the machine and that lifts up the soil that they're going to pass through the machine now whether that be for a crop or in this case destoning with the destoning machines that closes up then at the end And the rear wheel steer on the on the scan stone, which makes it easier to manoeuvre. And down he drops. On the front there, they've got some liquid fur, and that goes in underneath. That goes in underneath before the seed is drilled. And if you look at the back in the middle, I'll try and point it slap bang in the middle, under the empty microband tanks, that's where the little hoppers are for the uh, onion seed. Drilling three beds at the same time. And as he comes past this time, we'll get some slow motion. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed that and I will see you on the next video.